Hello Bethlehem Lutheran Church and friends. This is Pastor Katie here with your Meditation Monday. Today's meditation comes from out in our backyard, behind the church, behind the garage and shed, uh, by the pavilion and our field. This is our prayer labyrinth. Um, labyrinths go back a very long time in human history. Ancient peoples from all over the world actually have uh, shown signs of use of labyrinths. For us, labyrinths look a lot like a maze. Um, they have a pattern, but there is only one way towards the center of this maze and only one way out. It's used in meditation because the one path allows us to think less about where we're going and how we're getting there and to think more about where we are. It opens our minds, um, lets us let go of a lot of worries, it centers us in one space in this time. And so I invite you to join me today. We are going to center around Psalm 66. It was the Psalm for this week. If you would like to join along in reading, uh, our verses are verses eight through 20 but I encourage you to listen to the psalm and instead of reading, print your own labyrinth and follow it, trace it with your finger. I will be pausing at turns in the labyrinth to read and I encourage you to pause as we read as well. If you would like, uh, take some time this week and come, come walk this labyrinth. Bring your own prayer, your own psalm, your own scripture, or use this one again. I look forward to meditating with you. Psalm 66, verse 8. Bless our God, you peoples. Let the sound of praise be heard. Our God has kept us among the living and has not allowed our feet to slip. For you, O oh God, have tested us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into the place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings, and I will pay you my vows, those that I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble.
I will offer you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who believe, and I will tell you what God has done for me. I called out to God with my mouth and praised the Lord with my tongue. If I had cherished evil in my heart, but the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me and has attended to the sound of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld unfailing love from me. This is the word of the Lord. We take a moment in the center of our labyrinth. We look at the path we've walked, a path built for us. We remember the words of the psalmist, blessed be God who has not rejected my prayer nor withheld unfailing love from me. We hear the birds. We see around us flowers and signs of life, knowing that God has created each of these. We stand in the middle of this life, knowing that we are created by the same God. God who has created us in his own image, who sets us on this path and who refuses to reject us, who refuses to withhold love from us, who gives us love and life even when we feel we might not deserve it. Whose power is grace. And we give thanks and we give praise. I invite you in your own labyrinths to turn around at this time to contemplate your way out, knowing that God's way is your way. And God's way is but one way, that of unfailing love. <laughs>